Alright, welcome, welcome. I know I said the other day that I was going to ref the last two days and be off today, but my schedule was in my head wrong, so I do have to ref, but it's much later today, so <clears throat> I just took yesterday off, so we are back. We will get May done today. Um, I will not stream tomorrow, but I will stream on Saturday. Um, I know the NFL draft, I believe, starts tonight, right? First round today, second and third tomorrow. The rest will be on Saturday. And I'm going to stream during the day Saturday because the wife will be gone. I won't have to worry about that. I can just turn the later rounds of the draft on the TV over there and just casually watch it while we play. And we can get us um, to almost to the draft <clears throat> for this league. And that would mean like next week, maybe Monday or Wednesday, we could uh, get the draft, the all-star break, trade deadline, all that done. So <clears throat> getting to a point where we can almost stream every other day uh, because of my schedule. So anyway, that's what we're looking at. My season is winding down and I'll have to spend more time getting all this certification done for being a bookkeeper and a... QuickBooks Pro Advisor, so I can start keeping books for companies. And the good thing with that is I can do it from home for the most part, unless they hire me as an employee, which means I can keep streaming and making making money um, without having to put videos on YouTube for money. <laughs> so, all right, as you see right there, we are tied with Cincinnati, twenty-one and ten. For the lead in the National League Central, the Brewers are two and a half back. The Pirates went out and dropped a bunch of money on Juan Soto and Pete Alonso, and they are a game under 500 because they don't have the pitching. I want to look at theirs. Their, they have Keller and Skeens, and then a bunch of ugh. Jared Jones hasn't developed um, into the upper 70s yet. He's got a little ways to go. Quinn Priester, same way. Solomito. So they're having to backfill. We traded them Libertor, so Herman and Lorenzen aren't doing it. <clears throat> Look at Skeens with an 8 ERA. <clears throat> so we can look at Cincinnati, though, since that's we're going to be playing them today. Green, Abbott, Lodolo. So they got three pitchers in the 80s. Andres Castro is a guy they drafted in the first round last year. So he is pitching really well at double A. One walk in 29 innings. One walk and one home run allowed in 29 innings. Wow. That low of a hits per nine, and he's still got less hits than he's pitched. That's amazing. That's amazing. Um, Stevenson's only hitting 230. Encarnacion, 229. McLean, 295. India, 371. Wow. Candelario, 311. Ellie De La Cruz hitting 216. He always hits like shit in this game because he can't hit lefties. Um, don't fall into the trap of being hot for Ellie because he's got really bad splits. Um, Friedel's doing well. Deer's doing okay. Fraley's doing okay. Fairchild sucks. And Benson's doing well, but no home runs. So. And. Uh, <clears throat> If you want to refresh your memory with us, Nolan Gorman, 374 with eight home runs and 24 RBI. Tommy Edmond, 316 with 5 and 18. Arnado, 286 with 6 and 18. Walker, 252 with 6 and 21. Contreras, only 6 RBI, but 6 deals, hitting 344. Naylor, 282. Lars, hitting 323. Donovan, 309. Wins down to 219. Um, guys we brought in, Kiermaier's doing nothing, but Davis is doing well. Duvall's doing okay, four home runs. Where Merrifield's doing great. Pitching-wise, Sonny Gray, outstanding. Walker Buehler, outstanding. We had a complete game shutout with him on a uh, player lock game last episode. Tanner Bybee's doing well. Scherzer, he had a shutout in the sim. <clears throat> Steven Matz is our weak link. We thought about signing Max Freed, but I'm like, yeah, I don't want to tie up too many... Rotation spots, we can replace him next year, so we will. Um, Sandlin's doing great as a closer. Chapman was doing well, is kind of sucking lately. Barlow hasn't allowed an earned run. So, anyway, 
that's why we're doing what we're doing. And standings wise, Dodgers twenty two and twelve, Giants are twenty one and eleven. We're both twenty one and ten. <clears throat> Those four teams are ruling the National League. Astros are twenty and eleven. Royals are twenty and eleven. Twins are twenty and twelve. The White Sox, wow. Wow. What are the White Sox and Royals doing? And the Yankees won a hundred games last year and they're under way under five hundred, so all right. <clears throat> so today I'm going to send this game. We're not going to play Miami. Um, we will probably play lock in one of these games against Cincinnati. Um, we'll play. Um, gosh, we got a lot of division games. Reds, Milwaukee, Milwaukee, Pirates, Reds, Cubs. Wow, so many games. So many games. All right. Well, I feel like player locking early and playing a full game later. So let's do that. Tanner Bybee, we're just going to sim against Alcantara, and we get the 3-1 to one win. Contreras, home run, 3 RBI. Whitfield, I'm sorry, Whitfield. Whit Merrifield and Nolan Gorman with steals. Tanner Bybee, 5-1. and Yeah, 4-1. and one. Look at that nice start. Sandlin gets his 12th. <clears throat> All right, Bueller against Abbott. Hey, let's get in player lock with Arenado on this game. We'll get into uh, player lock right away. Abbott's yeah, a lefty, so we'll get in here and do that. Man, if we could get Mason Wynn's average up. It's a rain game. Wonderful. Let's see if we can turn two here. There's one. Oh, and he, he's a gold glove third baseman. He can't make a single throw to second, short throw to second base. All I got to do is push the button. It's not how long I hold it down or anything like that. I'm telling you, the defense and franchise is flat garbage. Ass ah, one over that. And he has no problem throwing the ball. Good change up. Abbott's wearing uh, Tom Seaver's old number with the with the Reds. Seaver had many chances to get a no hitter with the Mets, and he finally threw one after he was traded to the Reds. He threw it against the Cardinals. I watched that game live on TV. <clears throat> it's the old Riverfront Stadium. Painted low. Good pitch. Alright, we're up 2 nothing. Thought that was a ball, obviously. Hey. So all you guys watching on Twitch and on YouTube when I placed the VOD there, what do you like about the new format where we're doing uh, the player locks. Less full games, more partial games. You like it, you don't like it. What do you want to see differently? Just 
That said I was early. A lot of them were saying late. He just pounded me on the inside. Got to protect low because he struck me out with that low fastball. Oh, that's out of here. Stay fair. Stay fair. It is off the top of the foul pole. Get up, baby. Get up. Get up. Hundred and ten miles an hour. There we go. Thought that was going to curve foul, but it had just enough to boink right in the middle of the upper part of the uh, foul pole. I'll take that. I'll take that. Only problem is now we're down, and there's a line drive that'll tie the game up. All right. There we go. Inside fastball. All right. Come on, Naylor. Nobody out. Now there's one down. Oh, man. Come on, Duvall. We brought you in for a reason. You've got pop in your bat. Let's hit a three-run jack. <clears throat> We're going to hold up. You do not have the speed. Bad throw. Cardinals take the lead. There we go. We are fighting for first place. We are tied with these guys for first. So this is a huge month. <clears throat> We've got six or seven games directly against the Reds. And that's a double play. Hey, we were down two. I got us tied. Duvall got us the lead. See if we can actually make a good throw here. Game is tied again. And now we're losing in a ninth. Tying runs at second. Nobody out. Stay out of the double play. Stay away from that slider unless he hangs on the inside. hit a walk off <laughs> yes 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 two home run game for Arnato. it's our second walk off in the franchise let's fucking go <laughs> damn that's a way to start a stream. That was a rocket into the bullpen. Over the bullpen. <laughs> Chapman gets his first win as a Cardinal. All right. Bam. I'm going to see if he celebrates. Nope. Didn't. Replay didn't go far enough. McLean had three hits, Fraley two, Ellie had a home run, Stevenson had a home run, Arnato three for five with six RBI, two hits for Gorman, two for Edmund, two for Naylor, two for Contreras, Bueller didn't pitch outstanding, Sandlin blew the save, but we got the win, it's all that matters at this point, <clears throat> and we're in first place, by a game.
First player lock game of the day. Two home runs and a walk-off. Got to love it. All right. After I send this game, we'll get to look at the uh, draft guys again. Straight sim. And we win five to nothing. Oh. Lodolo. Home run by Naylor. Steal by Merrifield. Matt's six innings. Shut up all. Chapman and Penn Murphy finish it off with two and two thirds of no hit ball. <clears throat> all right, scouting. So we looked at this guy, Roger Quintana. Let me move myself out of the way so we can actually see what's going on. <clears throat> All right, so he's 19 years old. He's got a wide split. He's got great power against lefties, good fielding, good reaction, not great arm. He's a left fielder for sure. He's got catcher. He's got catcher as a secondary, guys. Um, arm accuracy isn't good. Good speed, good reaction, good fielding. He's going to be power first, but he's 19. That's still a wide split, 48 to 72. He could be anywhere in there. <clears throat> so we're going to have to uh, scout him a little longer. But as his draft rank keeps dropping, we may not get him. He may he may uh, get sniped before we ever get a chance. Um, I had to go in and look at. So we pick at 24. We're picking in the 24th spot in every round. So 24, 60. 98, 128, 158, 188. So we're going to have to really discover or get some luck with hitting in this draft. Um, we did discover another outfielder. This guy could be A or, A or B potential, but he's got a very low overall. He's already 22, so he's not worth looking at. Um, I'm going to leave it on international outfield a little bit longer. We'll see. Um, this is week five. So this guy hits per nine strikeouts. All his per nines and control are low. Doesn't walk anybody though. <clears throat> Bill Corona, he's getting better. He still has a low per nines, but he could be what high fifties with B potential outside chance at a, who knows he's 18. We can, we'll finish him up later on. This guy's about the same. There's another not rated. Man, what is with these guys in their low per nines? All right, what's the other? What is he? He's central. Central. California, east, 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 another east, central. Yeah, our next region might, I don't know, it's going to be tough. It's between central and the east. Yeah, we might go east this year instead of central. We'll see. Um, week five, so he's going to stay. Uh, we're going to do one more week of international, and then we're done. And hope to find some more prospects in the outfield. So nothing changes. Actually, I want you to see uh, the other hitters. So this guy has no power. Barely can hit. Uh, this guy's a little bit older. Hitting isn't his strong suit either. This guy is, if you go off Fiend franchise, those splits, the 97 to the 91, are, are tight. There's a better chance of him being bad than there is good. This guy's a little bit better. He still has wide splits, and he doesn't look like he's got a stellar bat for being 21. God, he's 31 to 65s are terrible. This guy would be a high floor, low ceiling, but he's, he can't hit. Um, here's another guy. Could be a good player, but he might have a low overall to start. Gosh. There is just nothing on the... This guy might... We might have to look at James Waite. We're, we're going to have to uh, hopefully discover some guys. Nope. This guy's too tight. Great power, but that, all that shit's going to change. 
This guy's overrated. This guy, Dykes, wouldn't be too bad. We'll see. We're not, we don't have a shot at those guys. This guy's going to fall. Maybe Hernandez. He's definitely a bat with no glove. He's a DH. <clears throat> yeah, we got a few first basemen we could possibly look at. We got some power bats. Catcher, he's not going to fall. This guy's going to be one of those, just like the last draft where he starts out, a, his potential is not going to be stupid high, and his overall is so close to his potential that he'll probably not be good. 39 to 73, it's like, who knows? I've never seen such wide gaps on their overalls before. So now you know why we're going to spend a lot of time discovering prospects. There's going to be plenty of pitchers for us to pick from. Um, we got to find some hitters. I don't want to load this team up with 9 million pitchers in their draft classes every year. So, <clears throat> anyway. All right, Scherzer just come off a complete game shutout. We're going to go ahead and send this. We got so many division games that I'm not going to jump into every game. Um, and we lose 4 to 3. <clears throat> Spencer Steer with a home run and 4 RBI. Lost in extra innings. Three hits for Gorman. He's hitting 381. He hit two more home runs. Scherzer pitched great. Gallegos takes the L. Wow. Sonny Gray and Corbin Burns. We already did one with him. We'll jump into one of these two games and bat. We'll send this. And we win. Gray beats Burns. Shohei with a home run. He beat up on Dustin. I mean, Corbin Burns only lasted two innings. Did he get hurt? It's <clears throat> <clears throat> the game where we nah, didn't empty the bench completely. Donovan, three hits. Walker, two hits. Newt Barr and Donovan with home runs. Gorman and Wynn with steals. Why is Gorman stealing so many bases? Sonny Gray pitched great. Why did he not last so long? He didn't pitch poorly. All right. Uh, Yamamoto, we're going to jump in and player lock. Well, while he's hot, let's jump into Gorman. <clears throat> we'll do the two Nolans first. As I said earlier, trying to uh, get as much content from other games and not just play three full games. If you guys like that, let me know. If you want me to go back to the old format, let me know. Um, all right, lead off, Mookie. Straight ground ball. Good throw. Don't throw it away. He's jogging. There we go. All right. Bottom of two. Yamamoto and Gorman. Oh. Got on top of that. Man, that was that was floated right down the fucking middle. <clears throat> Man on third, two outs. Still scoreless in the fourth. See if we can actually get under a ball, which we did. Just not hit deep enough. It's kind of hard to take pitches when he throws them right down the fucking middle. First pitch. <laughs> All right. Losing 3 nothing. Barlow's in the game. It's like I'm the only one that, uh, not the only one that has had trouble hitting the ball off Yamamoto, so... We're just going to play defense today. I wanted to bat with Gorman, not field ground balls. All right, one more time. One more at bat. 
He's got a two hitter going. Mm. So early. And then we dipped under. Come on. Base hit. We don't need a two run bomb, although that would be nice. We need to keep this rally going. There's nobody out. Swung over it. Nasty splitter. Bottom fell right out of that thing. Oh, we tied it. Newt bar. Let's. I can't see it. <clears throat> Mason went with a double. Edmund with a steal. Chapman gives up three. Why did Bybee only pitch two uh, two thirds of a? What is? What the fuck is going on with the starting pitchers in this game? Burns lasted three. Bybee's out after two outs. Yeah, way out in front of that. And, Kersh and Kershaw's pitching in relief. What is going on? Ten games, three starts. Really. And Betts wins it. Yeah, look at that. Two-thirds of an inning for Bybee. <clears throat> Killed our bullpen. See if we have an injury once this game finishes up. No. So why did he leave? He's not hurt. Why did he pitch two thirds of an inning? Let me look at something. He wasn't tired. Why did he only pitch two-thirds of an inning? <sighs> Don't get it. All right, we bounce back with a 2-1 to one win in extra innings. Altman hit a home run. Bobby Miller pitched really well. Dustin May, four innings. We have Dustin May and Kershaw in the bullpen. Three hits for Contreras, two for Kiermaier. Gallegos gets the win. All right, so we have a game lead on the Reds. That is really strange. What the fuck's in their rotation? Matani Glass now burns Yamamoto Miller. Wow. They're so good that they have these two guys in the bullpen. <laughs> It's because Otani's pitching. What's up, Tice? About how you doing, man? Welcome in. Welcome in. Hey, first game we did uh, player lock on Gorman hit two home runs, including a walk off three run homer to beat the Reds. Not Gorman, Arenado. Get the wrong Nolan. Arenado had three hits, two of them were homers, and six RBI. So right now we have a one game lead. One game lead, and we go to Milwaukee, and uh, we'll we'll player lock in this. I don't want to pitch his mats; it drives me insane. <clears throat> Let's. Uh, he's a lefty. Hall's a lefty, so we'll player lock another hitter. <clears throat> Go Contreras.
Look at that. Chirillo's hitting 157. Yee. Looks like Jordan Walker. <clears throat> All right. One on, one out. Trailing one to nothing. Somebody must have hit a home run. Uh, went down and got that. Just didn't get enough of it. I like how the uh, they have fencing over there with people sitting behind there, and it's lit up. I wish we could do that when we make our own. Will they? I I, uh, I I find it hard to believe that Kershaw would come back to play another year and pitch in the bullpen and not in the rotation. I mean, he may start in the bullpen, but I don't think that's why he came back to pitch in the pen. May was already pitching in the bullpen before they put him back, you know, in the rotation. So he was a starting pitcher in the minors, brought him in the majors as a reliever. So I could see them, you know, building him back up in the pen. But Kershaw, I doubt he would come back, keep coming back on one-year deals to, God, it's off the end of the bat, to pitch as a reliever. <clears throat> going to try and steal third? No. Player lock is a catcher. All you do is catch foul balls. <laughs> the velocity is under decline. Well, I can understand that. But lefties can get away with less velocity than righties. I was either reading something or watching a video on YouTube about the all the pitcher injuries and stuff and what's causing it and, you know, why they're... It's, it's, it's because they're throwing max effort and they're throwing 100 miles an hour. If they would back off the gas and pitch instead of throw, they would last longer into games and not get hurt so frequently. But they were talking about how guys like Glavin wouldn't get drafted nowadays because he doesn't throw very hard. And I was like, no, that's not true because lefties don't have to throw 95. Lefties can get away with throwing all kinds of off-speed shit. Eliminating the pitch clock. I don't have a problem with the pitch clock, but it's entirely too short. And when you get to the playoffs, I'd be all in favor of making it either longer or get rid of it. Wildlife Gaming, welcome in. Because you don't need these guys rushing shit in the most important time of the season. And I don't give a fuck if a playoff game goes three hours. Oof. Pitch clock is not affecting them like they say it is. It's max effort. And nothing's going to change until we get the scouts to stop looking at 95 mile an hour 18 year olds, right? They don't need to be throwing 95 at 18 years old. They need to be working on all of their pitches and locating. And Kiermaier runs for me, so... And we got the win because Duvall hit a home run. There we go. So we brought Duvall in, man. Part-time player. Give us some pop off the bench. He was two for eight with four RBI. Wow. And he hit two home runs. Jordan Walker with a steal. Man, they blew through the entire bullpen again. My goodness. Sandlin had to go three. 20 inning game. My gosh. All right. We're going to player lock and pitch this next game with Max because we're going to have to throw damn near a complete game. And now we have a two game lead over the Reds. <clears throat> I haven't saved yet, so let me save this. Hey, tight spot. You see my post over on Discord. Kenny Piper was named uh, the Southern League Player of the Week last week. <clears throat> All right. Yep. His mom posted the graphic on uh, Facebook, so I grabbed it and put it on my Discord. We are going to play a lock <clears throat> as. Scherzer. 
So we'll let the sim do what it does on the hitting side, and we will just pitch. <clears throat> Jake Bowers in center. Draft class to drafted, put on Twitter and Instagram. No, I did not. Drop the uh, tweet link in the chat. I don't have a, I don't have any limitations on links, so drop it in there and I'll take a look at it. Some guy posted on Reddit, and he was posting all of the guys he drafted in this draft class, and they all had a potential. And he was going on about how good his draft was. And I'm like, how many of those guys are in the 50s? Because a 57A potential is not the same thing as a 67A potential. You can get a 67A potential in the first round, but you can also get a 57A potential in the first round. <laughs> We'll get that. So the high potentials are great, but if their their overalls are in the 50s and they're not 18 years old or 20, 21, 22, that's nothing but trade bait. Like I did this last draft when I got that guy in the third round. <sighs> Damn, what is with the control? Yeah, that's fine too. I don't care. Pitching today. I've already batted on Diamond Dynasty, so my hitting isn't a problem, but my pitching. Another fucking throwing error by Gorn, by Arnada. What? No, I don't know who it is, so I don't know everybody's uh, names on Discord and on here, so. Murder? Okay. How have you been, man? I haven't seen you in forever. Got the K. Ooh. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'd have been looking for murder, so... Glad you're in here uh, watching the Cardinals. Go get that. Go get that. That's off the wall. All right. No more runs. We're going to shut them down the rest of the game. Look how long that ball was in the air. When's the last time you saw a little flared pop foul that was in the air that long? How did he pull that pitch? <laughs> I saw Mad Max pitched in in uh, the minor leagues on a rehab last night. wasn't wasn't uh, outstanding, but you know back surgery. I know something about. I've had major back surgery myself, and it takes you a little while. He's trying to come back at a major league level. <laughs> Got him. Up and in with the fastball. See if he turns this around. This game has a bad habit of you throw a fastball right where you want to up and in, and they swing and drive it 400 feet down the left field line. Oh. As I said earlier, 
We got new people popping in right now. Let me know what you uh, think of this new format. Because remember, Rockies and A's, we just played three full games. Every stream, we played three full games. And this year, we're only playing one full game, but we're doing a lot of player locks, pitching player locks. So you get to see more teams. Um, you like it, you don't like it. What are you wanting to see that you're not seeing? <clears throat> By the way, NWO for football will be back very, very soon. Let's see if I have that command in here. There we go. Go follow us. It's an NCAA 14 head-to-head -head user league. With a bunch of other people you know, like Jimmy Two Blunts and Dark Specta and 49er George, Coach Brousseau. The Fantastic Duo, Snossages, Cincy Bowen, myself, god damn it, uh, Revamp TV, he's won it, what, four years in a row? At least three, if not four years in a row. He won the championship this last year on basically a Hail Mary <clears throat> with 14 seconds left. It's the craziest ending I've seen. Um, I had a week one game against the CPU against Colorado. I beat them 59 to 17. Yeah, I feel yeah. I lost to my old team, and uh, when I was doing uh, my old head coach, remember I I left Texas Tech and went to UCF, and we lost to Texas Tech in the Natty on a hail mary with five seconds left. <laughs> we we won the Natty the year before. The only time we've ever used a playoff, and then we lose on a hail mary. These guys got to get their shit together on the offensive side because we're pitching better. Nope, they left. They left. Uh, Sep left three years ago, three seasons uh, of our seasons ago. Um, Panda left a year after. I was out for a couple of seasons and came back. Ooh. Yeah, I'm asking where that was too. Got him. Let's go, let's go. <clears throat> we still can't score. Backdoor slider, this guy, if I can get him on strike two. There we go. Here comes the backdoor slider. Got him. Ring him up. Come on. Angel, get your head out of your ass. Take that one pitch out. Thank you.
Oh, speaking of Scherzer umpires. Um, Scherzer said they need to have a relegation system for umpires for the bottom 10%. <laughs> Send their ass back to the minors. Bigger league when 25? I don't know um, what we're doing. Um, depends on what the online league stuff looks like in 25 and how the game plays. Because I'm telling you right now, if it plays like Madden, I'm not playing. Not only am I not playing in the league, I'm not playing games on stream. I will just do sim franchises, sim dynasties for the new college football game if it plays like Madden. If it plays like the current NCAA, just updated graphics, then yeah, I'll play for sure. A lot of moving parts we don't know about yet. <clears throat> as far as a bigger league, it just depends on who's willing and who's able to stay up and constantly schedule games, play their games, help out with broadcasts. <clears throat> like, I don't think I have the best PC and setup to produce games, but I can call games. Me and Jimmy and George and Lou call a lot of our games. <clears throat> I would say 90% of the games come from those four guys. God damn it, missed my spot completely. Yeah. Turns on a low outside slider. <clears throat> Give me the fucking ball. All of these random hit by pitches. I was not off the off my spot that much to hit them. Jesus Christ. Not surprised. I'm not even gonna look at the <clears throat> seven K's but four and runs on three hits. <sighs> all right, still have a two game lead and all right, so this guy, Quintana. He's 100% scouted, so he's going to be <clears throat> most likely a B potential, somewhere in the mid-80s. And he looks like he's going to be somewhere in the low 60s at 19 years old. So not too bad. He wants $3.3 million, so that seems to make me... I, I, I'm just going off how I, I uh, see the demand and what their stuff is. And I kind of equate that to being he's going to be on the higher end of those ratings. Uh, if he wasn't that good, he wouldn't be demanding that much. <clears throat> this guy could play all three outfields plus catcher. So very good speed and defense. His hitting's a work in progress. So, And we found another outfielder. And he's nothing. All right, so let's change this. We were going to move this to the east. Let's go there, and let's change this to Pitcher East, and we'll change this guy out. He won't be there. If he's, if he's good, he won't be there with our pick. <clears throat> this guy... He won't be there either. No, those guys will. He could be. He's no feeling all that. Let's check out John Walker. He's got a. He's got a chance. Yes, and we'll change this, guys. Go in and change this to whatever position you're scouting that week, so you get extra interest. All right, so we're going to scout the East and discover East pitchers. 
We'll uh, discover for four weeks. That gives us four more weeks to try and discover more hitters. <clears throat> we're going to scout five, but we're going to discover here for four. And then the last four weeks, we're going to come back and hit some of these pitchers individually. Fiend Franchise is the guy that uh, came up with that. Dude is well worth a watch just for his content, his normal content alone, but for his uh, scouting tips video. There it is. Go watch it when you get a chance. <clears throat> All right. Still have a two-game lead. And Sonny Gray and Peralta. <clears throat> We're just going to straight sim. And a 7 nothing shutout. Lars Newtbar, Wilson Contreras, Tommy Edmond, Mason Wynn, all with home runs. Newtbar had three hits. Eight shutout innings for Sonny Gray. All right, Gorman still, he's hitting 341 with 10 home runs. We're not even done with May. <laughs> Arnado, Edmund, although I shouldn't get too excited because fucking J.D. Martinez of the Mets had 16 home runs in April. <clears throat> We're spreading it out, though. Look at all those home runs. 10, 8, 6, 6, 6, 5, 4, 6, 4, 7. Everybody's, everybody's going deep enough. We may have a whole roster of uh, 20 home run guys. There you go, Sonny. Six and one with a 224 with an 090 whip. Bueller 278. Scherzer 296. Bybee 247. Mats 338. That means he lowered his ERA as well. Uh, league leaders. I want to look at home runs. 17 home runs by JD Martinez. Reynolds is out for one to six days. Let's take a look at some of the injuries here real quick. Nothing for us. Any big names? Colton Kowser is out one to two months. Gavin Sheets is out five to six. <clears throat> Kikuchi, one to six. Springer, one to six. Arias, one to two weeks. Henkis, one to two months. Meadows, three to four weeks. <clears throat> Julianne, one to two weeks. Castro, two to three. Cal Rally, one to two months. <clears throat> Gina and Choi's out for the year. All right. Nothing too ridiculous. Not like Spencer Strider last year. He got hit in the head with a line drive and missed the rest of the season after nine starts. All right. At Washington. Look at Strasburg. 147 ERA. Good Lord. Let's go with uh, Donovan. <clears throat> <clears throat> they have Hayward in center. Looks like they called up Brady House, too. Should have put them in their uh, City Connect unis. Get out of play. Get out of play. What is, he's a 65 overall. <laughs> he still has another year to go in that contract. <laughs> he retired in real life, but my goodness, he's going to earn all of his money in this replay. Get down, get down, drop. Thank you. There we go.
Hold up. It's too shallow. <clears throat> All right, Nolan. It's up to 295. That wasn't good. <clears throat> All right, the other Nolan. Nolan G. Stormin' Norman. Uh-oh. Back to the track, to the wall. Caught. <clears throat> All right. Base hit will definitely score us a run. Come on, Jordan. You just got sent down in real life. Drop, 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 drop. Nope. Oh, way out in front of that pitch. My goodness. That was so far early on a 92 mile an hour fastball. He almost dropped that slurve in on me. I was right here and it took a nosedive right in the middle of the plate. Yeah, we're just trying to file that off. <clears throat> Any of you guys watching uh, Mr. Hurricane over on YouTube do his Cardinals franchise? Throw it. Find it very hard from for me to objectively watch him mess with my team. <laughs> I didn't care about the A's or the Rockies or whatever. But <clears throat> Good throw, get him! Yes, gunned him out at the plate. That's how you do it. One hopper got him. Although he uh, looked like the tag went around. Wow. His his hand went under or around the, the catcher's minute, but there's no replay. All right, 1-1 one, in one the fifth. He's still in the game. <clears throat> Typical lefty. Loves those down and in pitches. Double play off the end of the bat. Still 1-1. One, one. New pitcher. Oh, that's foul. <clears throat> Joan. Joan of Arc's on the mound. Probably Joan. But it's spelled Joan. Like a boy named Sue. And <clears throat> you Johnny Cash fans. God damn it. Right over the top. Terrible. sent me something on Discord. I'll look at that in a little bit. All right. 2-1 lead. Two outs in the ninth. Base hit. Make that a two-run lead. Ah, way out in front. Good change up. Oh, I waited for it and everything, and 
popped it up. It's all right. We got the lead. Come on, bullpen. Do your job. Yep. There we go. Two hits for Naylor. Two for Contreras, including a home run. Bybee doesn't get the win, but he pitched well. Sandlin gets another save. Gallegos is vulturing all the wins in the bullpen. Contreras <clears throat> had a triple. Jeez. All right. Twenty nine and thirteen guys. Two game lead. Bueller. Bueller. Yeah, let's just sim that. Lose three to two. Arnado with a home run. Bueller pitched okay. Six walks is a bit alarming. Gallegos, all he's doing is winning and losing, man. Josiah, I remember him from my uh, Rockies franchise. And we'll send this one too. Nine to five win. Home run by Arnado and Walker. Mats, eh. Bullpen did their great job. JoJo had to get the save this time. Four strikeouts in two innings. 30 and 14. Six eighty two win percentage. You have the best record in the National League. Astros have the best record in baseball. Thirty one and thirteen. Nice. I'll check that out when we're done, man. I will definitely take a look at that. I've I've done um last year's MLB the show off camera. Didn't do it on stream. I moved Oakland to Las Vegas and changed their colors and their name. I made them the Las Vegas Aces. The colors were black and red and white. And I used a ballpark that this dude, Gopper Gaming, from um, from YouTube, he, uh, he makes custom parks. And uh, I used his park, his Vegas park. <clears throat> All right, Arenado. The two Nolans are killing it. Look at that. 10 home runs, 30 RBIs. 10 home runs, 26 RBIs. Contreras, Edmund, Naylor. Walker's average is up. Donovan's is down. New Bars is down. Wynn is up. Look at these ERAs. 224, 285, 236, 374, 296. Look at the whips. Goodness. Who's the leading guy right now? J.D. Martinez with 17 home runs leads in the MVP race. Alex Bregman in the American League. Pitching Abbott and Gray are 1-2. Eovaldi, Gossman, and Singer. Rookio still hitting 3 over 400, 419. Evan Phillips and Johan Duran. Who is Brennan? Bernardino. Wow. He's 33 years old, though. All right. Colin Ray. We just did this matchup. <clears throat> we'll player lock this game with a hitter this time. Let's do Josh Naylor. Man, straight down the strip, nice. Yeah, I have not made a stadium with this year's version of MLB. I made a bunch of them last year, but since those stadiums get to carry over, there was no point in me making new ones. <clears throat> Unless I'm going to do a uh, franchise where I move a team, and then I want to make a brand new stadium. But I've made two or three that I didn't get to use that I would want to use, so... I've kind of taken the year off from creating stadiums. Plus, they didn't they didn't give us anything new this year worth a shit. Yeah, they gave us uh, player or fans that are props that can stand and they they animate stuff. So that's cool. But they need to uh, they need to make the bullpens off the field and make them a modular thing you can put in the outfield stands. 
<clears throat> See how the bullpens are here? Make them like that so I can set them wherever I want to up against the wall and build stands around it, but they don't want to do that. We don't need bullpens on the field of play like they have. God damn. Just outside of Arenado's game, I haven't hit the ball well at all today. Doesn't seem to matter. We're winning five to two. Yeah, all the monsters and the broken buildings they added for the uh, Japanese series or Korean series, whatever, whatever that series they did. I, I, I won't use any of that stuff. Kanja, yeah, they, it was stupid. It was, no one asked for that stadium creation. We want bullpens that are in the outfield. <laughs> and we want more different stands, smaller, smaller sections of stands. Yeah, it's, it's pointless. Dalvin Cook, thanks for the follow. Get down. Get down. Thank you, finally. Speaking of Dalvin Cook, you guys ready for the NFL draft? I am, uh, if it wasn't for fantasy football, I wouldn't follow the NFL at all because it's just been boring as shit. But Las Vegas, the strip. Uh he threw it away. Uh, put your Las Vegas the strip. Do me a favor and throw that on Discord, the name, so I don't forget. Because once I get done, I'll lose the chat. And um, I can go look at it. Look at that throw. Too many home runs online. Well, that, that has to do with their elevation. If you would limit the the max elevation online. Uh, I should have just stayed at third. That was stupid. I'm too busy talking, not paying attention. Um, yeah, they should, they should definitely limit the max elevation for online play. Ah, swung over. God damn it. I have a stadium that I made for my Oakland A's franchise last year that I made two different versions. I made one at elevation so I can grind on Diamond Dynasty. And then I made another one that was, you can use online, that was normal, like 34 feet of elevation, whatever Oakland is. Um, and I used that one for franchise. But um, I hate that you can't, edit the outfield walls you have to use their preset walls in order for it to be usable online because their presets are garbage flat out garbage um sal fralick with a, th a grand slam two home runs madamas hit two home runs mason went with a home run oh, jesus barlow gallegos sandlin Come on, boys. We gave up way too many runs after the seventh inning. We gave up ten runs after the seventh inning. Well, they, they wouldn't even let you adjust the configuration without making it not usable online. All right, game and a half lead over the Reds who had the day off. Harry Ford got called up. <clears throat> Let's go look at the minor leagues real quick. All right, double A. We don't have anybody down here that we're really interested in. That's how bad our minor leagues are. We have nobody in double A that we're even really interested in. Triple A, Victor Scott hitting 269, only 16 steals. The dude stole 100 bases last year. Elijah Green is doing well. He's not doesn't have a lot of pop, though. Lucan's doing Lucan things, but he's almost 30. So JC, his average needs to come up. This is the guy we got from the Blue Jays. This was our backup catcher last year. We got him for Matt Carpenter. We just don't have a lot of exciting prospects down here. Um, Pitching-wise, Graceffo, 261. Painter, struggling. 
even though he's got more strikeouts than he's pitched. Hence is struggling at AAA. Roby is struggling at AAA. Yerpy is struggling at AAA. They're still progressing, but they're struggling. Double A. This is a guy we took. When did we take Lindsey? He was a guy we drafted in the fifth round last year. 7-2 overall. His potential is only a C, so he's almost maxed out on everything. But he could be he could be serviceable. If nothing else, we can get him maxed up and trade him off. McGreevy's pitching great. Radjic's pitching great. Cutliff was our first round pick. He's finally bouncing back. Maybe we flip Radjic and McGreevy with uh, Henson Roby. So Hen send Hens to double A. Roby to double A. McGreevy to triple A. Radjic to triple A. And now we got to fix our rotations. Cool, awesome. Thank you. All right, let me save this. With our Major League team doing so well, I'm less inclined to go down and play in the minors because we don't have any hitters to player lock, so we'd have to pitch an entire game. Um, and I would rather not do that. If I'm going to pitch an entire game, I'm going to play in the Major Leagues. So this month you won't see a whole lot of prospects. Um, I wish they would allow <laughs> these players get drafted to go play in the minor leagues right out of the draft so you could use them right away, but you got to wait till the offseason to get them. Um, I did not. I simmed spring training this year. So um, with Hens and Roby and some other guys very close to being major league ready and possibly being our fifth starter next year, I will do some spring training games with those pitchers. Um, once we get through this season, we get to the off season. I'll do all the uh, free agent signings, trades, whatever the off season team building stuff, and then we'll jump into spring training and play some player lock games with those pitchers. Unless we happen to draft a really good hitter, fingers crossed, then we'll we'll uh, we won't do anything with him in spring because he won't be on the forty man. But we'll be able to play some games, you know, player lock games with him in the minor leagues next year. We'll see. Depends on what we draft. Picking where we are at twenty four, yeah, it's going to be a crapshoot. <clears throat> we may end up with somebody in the high fifties with an A or B potential. So. Trades in the NFL draft this year, yeah. I'm. Uh, I used to follow. I used to get paid to watch the draft. I don't know if you guys have ever played fantasy sports games from uh, CDM Fantasy Sports, the Football Challenge, um, Diamond Challenge, all those those salary cap games. I used to do the ads for those games, and I also used to create the players' salaries, the values for the players within the games for all of our sports. So that was NBA, NHL, NFL, MLB, golf, NASCAR. I made all that. So I would basically get paid to watch sports. And every draft, every pro draft, I would sit and watch so I could watch the trades, figure out who was going to go where, kind of figure out the value on these guys. And I would book those hours as work. <laughs> so... All right, Sunny Gray rematches with Peralta. Let's let's um, we're gonna do a lot of player locks within our division here, so let's let's jump in and do another player lock and another hitter. And this time we're gonna go Lars. <clears throat> I said this the other day. There is not one franchise quarterback in this draft. So these guys are going to spend a lot of draft capital. They're going to make a lot of trades. <clears throat> They're going to draft these QBs, and none of them are going to take these teams to the promised land. So Specta and his Bears are going to be disappointed again. 
Caleb is soft. He's talented, but he's soft. <clears throat> I saw, I saw um, Mr. Hurricane tweet about. Uh, he used he was talking about this year's draft and and he used the word May, but he put an E on the end of it, hoping that the Vikings can trade up and get May from North Carolina. <clears throat> Down three nothing in the first. Come on, Sonny. My God, you've only thrown seven pitches and you're down three to nothing. <clears throat> it's eight to one in the second inning. The fuck, Sonny Gray just shit the bed. Eight runs in the first inning. We're just killing our bullpen right now. Oh, by the way, I saw the Broncos new uniforms. I'm a Broncos fan, and they are dog shit. God awful, ugly, bland, stupid new owners, man, are going to drive me away from being a Broncos fan. Eleven to one in the fourth. <clears throat> Difficulty, here you go. Hall of Fame hitting legend pitching. I'm too inconsistent to play legend hitting. I'm kind of in between Hall of Fame and legend on hitting. And god damn it. Depends on the day. Like the other day, I couldn't stop. I had a 23 hit game. Today, I can't even put a ball in play. Yeah, if I, if I pitched on All-Star, <laughs> I would throw a no-hitter every stream. Fucking over the top of everything. He got one out and gave up seven hits in a row. God damn, he raises ERA almost a full run. Sonny, what are you doing? I'm going to just straight sim this game, and we lose 6-1. to one. We're about to get swept by the, the, the Brewers. We lost four of our last five games. Woodruff shuts us down. Bybee. Our pitchers can't get out of the first inning. We still have a game and a half lead because Cincinnati keeps losing too. All right. This guy does have power against righties. That's about it. He's dropping at 67. We're going to leave him on there because I want to get him fully scouted because we still have... Um, we still have uh, later round picks. We found four pitching prospects. David Vincent. He can't strike anybody out. All these non-rated guys. <clears throat> it's going to be another very pitcher heavy. Where, where are we at? We're at 123. <clears throat> <sighs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Let's pitch this game. Just pitch this game with Walker Bueller. And then we'll play a full game either against the Cubs or the Reds. See if we can salvage one game out of this series. Man, I'm just not on today, pitching or hitting. We had... Then they get that shit. Throw them out. Oh no, can't have a good throw. third another pop up there we go <clears throat> and another pop all right we'll take three easy balls on fly balls on three pitches Man, I am off of my timing today, big time. My God. I'll take pop outs over uh, the strikeouts as long as we can. Keep them off the board. Got him. There we go. Popped it up. Thank you very much. Fucking emails going nuts. Give me one second, guys.
Nothing important. Okay. Chase, thank you very much. base twice already. <laughs> Made you look terrible on that one. Yeah, let's move me over here so you can actually see the guys on base. <clears throat> At least he hit it to left and he couldn't go to third. Come on, he fucking hit everything everywhere I put it. Can't do a mound visit, really? This is because I'm on player lock. Look at this. Everything I throw, they fell off. I'm in the third inning at 59 pitches.
What is with the fucking endless foul balls in this game? That time. Oh my god. My God, knock it off. Fuck. This is goddamn ridiculous. Another one. Come on, game. Come on. <laughs> Every day it's something new with this fucking game. Every fucking day I see something else that reminds me of EA Sports. Fuck you, Adamus. You're gonna walk? I'm gonna fucking drill your ass.
We got swept. Thirty-seven foul balls. We had twenty-six, they had thirty-seven foul balls. Twenty nine foul balls while Bueller was pitching. Not even bitching about losing the game. It's how many foul balls do I have to endure? That's how they run up the pitch counts. Dip to fucking PCI. God damn it. I need to play full game so I can get my swing timing back. Three to one. What the fuck is going on, guys? We stopped hitting. Get up, baby. Get up. Get up. I didn't even hit that good.
Ah! I was swinging right as the ball left his hand. Base hit will tie the game. Get over his head. Get over his head. Get over his head. There we go. We're going to have the lead, boys. We're going to have the lead. RBI double on a three and two count with two outs. Runners going. Fuck yes. <coughs> that looks familiar to Texas Ranger fans. <laughs> David Freeze triple in game six. All right. Can the bullpen hold on? What's up, FG? How you doing, man? In the new house? Good, good, good. You got everything set up so you can start. Oh, they tied it. God. Fuck. Come on, guys. Hey, FG. I was in uh, Param Crow's stream yesterday with uh, Dark Specta, and he said he's it was uh, he's done streaming uh, NCAA, man. Doing content for. He's got a bunch of stuff recorded, but he's he's done. So he'll keep putting out content, but he's done recording it. Yep. I've been there before. Like, I don't want to do this shit anymore. And he gets a lot more views than I do. Get out of fucking play. Get out of play. Thank you. Little dude, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. <clears throat> All right. See if we can find some grass somewhere. Ooh, I was late. I was late. I was tardy. Yeah, and YouTube changed their algorithm as well. So you're not getting as many views as you used to as well. I'm not stealing with a 10 steel rated dude. They want to steal, bring in Merrifield and let him let him run for me. There's no reason for me to steal with a guy that's 59 speed and 10 steel. Come on, swing the fucking bat. What are we doing? I am not stealing. There's it's pointless. I will get caught stealing. another
We're just going to sim this game. Hey, we broke this losing streak. Gave up a home run to C.J. Abrams. <laughs> Merrifield with two homers. Naylor with a homer. Newt Bauer with a homer. Scherzer pitched great. And we win 7-4. to four. Edmund with a home run. Sonny Gray. He had an ERA at 220 earlier today. He's raised it over a run. Almost a run and a half. Game and a half lead still. Pirates. All right, so which game do you want me to play, guys? I'm going to play a full game. We got the Pirates, the Cubs, and the Reds. There's a full game in here somewhere. And there's probably another lock-on as a pitcher game in here, too. Let's go with this one for Tanner Bybee for player lock. Look at that, FG. They have Juan Soto and Pete Alonso on the Pirates, and they're five, four games under 500. <laughs> Here, FG, you want to see my setup? Here you go. And there's my PlayStations right there, those two. I replaced my old computer monitor with the same monitor I bought the play on, so I have identical side-by-side -side monitors now. They're just not hooked up to my computer. Only one of them is. Soto. Got him on a shitty changeup in the dirt. All right. Big Pete gave up on that one. Three in a row.
Can't get strikeouts today, but I can get pop-ups galore. This guy reminds me of Albies, just because how small his strike zone is. It's like half of Aaron Judge's strike zone. Get there. Thank you. That was right down the middle. <laughs> that was a rocket right into the camera. <laughs> That's three innings with two out hits. Ooh, they didn't put the corner? Really? Got him. Ah. 
Lucky for us, he doesn't have the power to hit home runs. Throw the ball. It's going to be a triple. How does he hit that pitch to right field? To the back. Let that go to the second baseman and stay at the fucking bag. I don't even care that we won. Don't even fucking care. We have had just a ridiculous amount of extra inning games. And then we lose 11 to 10. Gorman was hitting 371. And we had all of our pitchers under 3 ERA except for Mats. And now they're all over 3 except for Scherzer. <laughs> and our bullpen became a dumpster fire. What a Jekyll and Hyde month. They also love foul balls. It should be MLB the show foul ball edition. It's worse than it's been in the past. It's fucking horrible. 
I thought about picking up Lorenzen in year one, but figured we would just not go there. Lorenzen's a two-way player, if you didn't know that. Dude can rake. Here. Look at that. Contact in the mid-40s, power in the low-50s. Secondary position. Doesn't have one. It should be um, outfield. Because he played some games in center field for the Reds not too long ago. Drop. Thank you. Now I can try to steal. Way to get us going. Good job. Out. Ah. I went right away. Dr. Taco. Welcome for the follow. I'm a Cardinals fan. That's why I'm playing as the Cardinals. We're trying to build a better team than what fucking Mo, Larry, Curly, and Ollie are doing right now. Throw him out at third. Nope. Mo is terrible. He's an arrogant piece of shit, just like Ollie. They deserve each other. I fired Allie after the first season. And, uh... Ooh, man, that was almost out of here. I'll stop. He's terrible. Hit 230s. Career average in the minors is 230, and he's trying to tell major leaguers what to do. If I was Tyler O'Neill, I would have punched him in the face when he called me out in public like that last year. I traded Goldschmidt and Carlsman to the uh, Indians for Tanner Bybee, Josh Naylor, and Nick Sandlin. Yeah. Yeah, we do that with a lot of outfielders. <laughs> Imagine our outfield if we had Adolis Garcia and a Rosa Reina. We're losing again. Man, this is the worst month for a first place team I've had in a while. Very Jekyll, uh, Jekyll and Hyde. I can't speak today. Yeah, Gallon and Alcantara for Ozuna. Both of them. They both went for Ozuna. From what I heard, we offered the same package for Stanton, Yelich, and Ozuna. And they turned us down for the first two and gave us Ozuna. <laughs> yeah. No. They didn't want Ozuna around because he was beating his wife. How he caught that? Mizuna is nothing but a DH right now, but he's still hitting 35 bombs and driving in 100 runs every year, so. What I want us to do is sign Trevor Bauer and bring him in the pitch. But, oh my God, he was falsely accused by multiple women. Did I not do my scouting? I didn't do my scouting, did I? It's all right. It's all right. Yep, exactly. Didn't do scouting, but we had switched to a younger first baseman, and we were still doing the central or the east, so we're okay. I didn't fuck anything up royally, but I didn't go check our scouting because I was so mad. All right. We're going to play a full game in here somewhere. Not that game. It's probably going to be the Sunny Gray game. 
Yeah. Um. Let's play a lock with Jordan Walker because we haven't done that all day. <clears throat> no, he's not getting any better. If Jordan Walker ever gets his bat going, eventually you'll you'll see. I would move Gorman to third. I would put Walker at first. I would put Edmund or Donovan at second. Leave Mason to win alone at short. And then you just got to find three outfielders, right? Almost took his head off. Well, they traded Rosarena because he recorded Schilt going off on the Braves in the clubhouse after we beat them in the playoffs. Adolis has to be shooting up something because he's twice as big as or more than twice as big as he used to be, but you still have to have talent. Ah! We tried to give him, give him away twice. There's something wrong with our player development and um, our conditioning and everything to do at the major league level. And hitting is garbage. Our pitching is garbage. We need to clean house, start all over. Front office, field, coaching staff, leave Willie. I like Willie. Everybody else can go away. Ah. Swung too way too early. Bad pitch. Get through. There we go. Imagine if we had actually signed Francona to be manager instead of Matheny. Because Francona came in and interviewed, and we went with Matheny over Francona. I think Francona backed out because he was like, yeah, fuck this. That's gone. Get up, baby. Get up. Get up. <laughs> Home runs by Arnado and Contreras as well. <laughs> They're what, game and a half, two and a half up on these guys, two games up, whatever. Get out of fucking play. Drop, drop. Look how long the ball is in the air. Oh, way out in front of that. Way out in front. Should have drove that to right center. Don't mind a walk here. Jeez. Gibson, they're just bringing in a warm body that can get through six. Yeah. They have no idea what they're doing team building wise. If they don't draft a good prospect, they don't know how to build the team. Most terrible. He's got to fucking go. Contreras with a two-run homer. It's twelve to five. We have Chime Bloom, right? Is that his name? Came over from Boston and Tampa Bay. Swung over that. 
Just leave the PCI down here. This is a battle for first place. There's only 20,000 people in Cincinnati coming to the game. Ah, I was just anxious. I didn't want to take another fucking pitch. All right, three for Edmund, three for Gorman, three for Arenado, two for Duvall, three for Contreras, two for Wynn, two for Walker. Home runs by Walker, two by Arenado, two by Wilson Contreras, one by Nolan Gorman, steals by Contreras and Edmund. Scherzer got lit up, but we still won the game. Yeah, I've, I've been to Cincinnati twice. I saw the Astros play the Reds in the early 90s. I went on a road trip with uh, my best man. We drove from St. Louis to Toronto, saw the Mariners play Toronto, drove back to Detroit, spent the night, got up, went and saw the Tigers and the Indians at Old Tiger Stadium. After the game, we drove to Cincinnati, spent the night. Next day, we saw the Astros and Reds at um, Riverfront and then came home. And then my son had a baseball tournament in Cincinnati for almost an entire week. And I took my son and my daughter to a game against the Brewers. And the Brewers put up like 12 runs in the first two innings. So we ended up just walking the stadium after that. Yeah, I'm in St. Louis. I went to the, uh, I went to games six and seven of the 82 World Series as a high school senior. Stats. Jordan Walker leads the team in hits. Wow. Look at this offense. Pitching. Everybody's got an ERA over three, so. Well, that might be good by today's standards. It's not good, but I'm, I grew up in the era where Three was average. You need to be below three. Who's on the trade block just for shits and grins? Friedel over. Pete Crow is always on the trade block because they have Bellinger ahead of him. Canning's terrible. There's really nothing. We're not going to trade with them. They're in the division. Casey Mize. John Tudor, exactly. Poche. All these relief pitchers, my goodness. Trey Sweeney. Oviedo. Another pitcher we mishandled. Hey, let's go check out Oakland. And that pitcher that we wanted in the draft and we missed out on, this guy. He's up to a 78 overall. This is a guy that has 99 potential. And at AAA as a 19-year-old, look at that, a 163 ERA, 60 hits and in 82 innings, 78 strikeouts. And we could have traded for this guy for nothing. We could have given him Miles Michaelis and gotten this guy in a trade. They also got this closer, Jorge Montoya, who's crushing it down in double A. But yeah, those were their first two picks last year. Um, who is this? The White Sox got the hitter we wanted. Peter Vigne. He's hitting 345 down in triple A. The other guy went... Four, this guy went five, and we picked it seven. All right. We're going to play this whole game right here.
Lars, we're going to replace you with Duvall. He's hurt, so he has to play. Gorman needs a day off. <clears throat> Montes is a lefty, right? Montes is a lefty, right? No, he's a righty. Okay, so. All right. Yeah. Well, Mo will be gone after this year, thank God, but. Who knows what we're going to get in his place. Gersh is a worthless fucking piece of shit, too. There we go. These are the uh, Reds City Connect. They don't like their numbers because you can't see them. <laughs> and you can't even see the logo on the front of their shirt because of it being black on black. In volleyball, these uniforms would be illegal. go should have played the game early should have played the full game early instead of late get my hitting going Saw a break and thought I was going to drop, and it just kept going. All right. Murphy needs one more home run for 100 in his career. I'll take that. Come on, Josh. Yeah. Not a good pitch this one yet. Thank you. Let's try and get the whole play. I'll take that over a double play. That's okay. We can work with a new batter. Come on, Nolan. We had a big two home run, six RBI game to start the stream with you. through hold him up it's too shallow bad throw all right bases loaded one out come on Jordan ah jammed me Since you've gone to uh, Cincinnati before, have you gone to, there's a place in downtown called The Taste of Belgium, I think it is. They have Belgian waffles and chicken. And um, homemade uh, beer there as well. Oh, fuck. oh, it's good. It's really good. Get through. There we go. Send him. There we go. Two to nothing. Adam Duvall. That's why we got him. We needed some more uh, veteran bench bats to uh, 
So we didn't have to rely on Burleson and Siani and all the other countless pieces of shit they have on the team right now. No, oh, off the end of the bat. That's not going to drop. Hey, all right, we got two. Jake Fraley, we all remember him from my A's franchise. Yeah, I lived through the 70s. I was I was really little when they went to the 67 and 68 World Series. I don't remember it, but I remember the teams in the 70s that were... It was Brock and Gibson and Simmons and Bob all. <laughs> we gave away some players back then, too. Gave away Bake McBride. We gave away Reggie Smith after we traded for him. Yeah, Whitey, he kind of gave away uh, Simmons and Fingers in that trade. We didn't really get a whole lot for that. Hernandez had to go because he was a cokehead and he was causing problems on the roster. Simmons, they just traded away because he was, uh, we didn't have a DH. Whitey said if we had the DH back in 81, we wouldn't have traded Simmons. He'd have just been our full-time DH because he was a great switch hitting. 300 both sides, power of both sides. He wanted Porter to catch, but he would have kept Simmons if we had the DH back then. I'm not going to complain too much because that was the first World Series I got to see us win. There we go. Chase that. There, Tommy. There we go. Yeah, the Clark thing, that was that was during the whole collusion area where they weren't signing anybody. That killed our team for multiple years though. We would have been competitive in the late eighties after the eighty seven series if we'd have signed him. Apparently, based on something Roboski said, Whitey retired because he wanted to make a deal with the Mets, a big trade with the Mets. But the front office says after Gussie died, they didn't want to add any more salary. But apparently Coleman and Pendleton would have been part of that going to the Mets in a deal for Strawberry. Because Vince and Pendleton were both going to be free agents. Yeah. Not enough power. Hit the ball good, just don't have enough power with these guys. This offseason, we're going to have to replace Kiermaier, Merrifield, and yeah. Duvall. We're going to have to redo our bench again. There we go. Take that to left field. Two on, one out. Top of the order. I was trying to shoot that to right, and I dipped the PCI badly. Yeah, I've lived through the 70s and the 90s. It's I've seen some bad Cardinals baseball. <laughs> Come on, 
Josh. Find a hole somewhere. Extend this lead. My pitching has been off today. Yeah, we will. And we've got some good young talent, too. That's what makes it really difficult. Pitching is garbage. But we've got some hitters in place. Need a new hitting philosophy for the organization as well. Gorman, too. Gorman's a 40 home run guy waiting. He's just got to be more consistent. <clears throat> These guys are all in their early 20s, man. They're not going to be. And it's. They're not going to be that way because, you know, they're young. They're inexperienced. You've got to be patient with them. <clears throat> that miss. That's the ball. How did that miss? Yeah, but I would say most of the league is home run or strikeout right now. The three true outcomes, the, the home run, strikeout, or walk. That's how baseball is played now. Fucking terrible. Hit the ball the other way and take a base hit to left or base hit to right once in a while. <clears throat> take throws him with the curveball that's a terrible pitch Kino? No, I didn't see that. I have, since COVID lockdown, I have hardly watched. I'll watch a game here or there, but I mean, I used to be one of those that had to watch every single game. And now I'm like, I don't give a shit. And that's that way for every sport. What are you doing? The defense in this game is just fucking horrible. Oh, my earbud just died. Yeah, Arise is the only thing close to Boggs and Gwyn from the 80s. Yeah, watching any pro sports right now is rough. Come on. It's our third home run of the day with Nolan. God damn it. Get up, baby. Get up. Get up. Woo! Yeah, Rod. Rod was a stud. 
388 in like 1977, 78 with Minnesota before he went to the Angels. Oh, that might be out of here too. our second home run with him on stream today I've been feast or famine at the plate <clears throat> oh back to back to back <laughs> get the fuck out of my joint <laughs> thank you for the sub man I appreciate that <laughs> Three dongs in a row. Let's go. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, it was three. Back to back to back. That was a rocket, too. <laughs> Come on, Tommy. Can we do four in a row? Oh, didn't get enough. I hit it hard, but doesn't have the power. That was Gorman. <laughs> Kiermaier doesn't have any power, either. We're just swinging like batting practice right now. This is how I play Diamond Dynasty against the CPU. We're swinging every fucking pitch because we're hitting bombs. Bam. Nolan's definitely going to be on the uh, thumbnail. Nolan Arenado. There we go. Old Gamer at 46. Yeah, I will be 59 this year. And the quickest way to get banned from my chat is make a comment about my age. <laughs> I would say uh, half a dozen people have been banned because they made a comment about my age. Hey, Grandpa. Hey, old man. Banned. Gone. Fuck off. I had to look it up. I've been playing video games since Pong came out in 1972. 1972. I think it was like March. I looked it up the other day. That's how long I've been playing video games. So I've literally been playing video games longer than some of you people have had parents. <laughs> Older than their parents. Not you, but some other people in here in their teens and 20s and even in their 30s. Yeah, I've been playing video games longer than your parents have been alive. <laughs> yeah, Pong on a black and white television. Yeah, not yours. 64, yeah. I was born in 65. reached don't reach this guy's throwing batting practice just wait yep no cable I was the remote control I'd sit there and <laughs> you only had like five channels came wax in the back air and it's right shooting hoops in the back patio while I listening to the Cardinals Jack Buck and Mike Shannon yeah, back in the day, they'd only have five games on TV the whole year. And one of them was the second game of a doubleheader. You didn't even get to watch the whole doubleheader. Uh, too anxious now. Yeah, Jack was awesome. Shannon, you just kind of put up. He was the lovable guy that wasn't always uh, the sharpest tool in the shed, but... Jack, Jack was Jack, man. Jack was way better than Harry Carey. Not even close. I didn't see Harry Carey doing national radio for baseball or football. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, I used to listen to Jack Buck do Monday Night Football with uh, Hank Stram. Yeah, Harry got ran out of town because he's banging Gussie Bush's wife. Yeah. Take that. <clears throat> oh, yeah, Harry was fun. <laughs> I used to listen to him all the time with the Cubs on WGN. Listening to, <laughs> listening to him try to say players' names backwards. After about three beers, oh my God, it was, he was, he was, he was, uh, hilarious. <laughs> Couldn't say Galarraga. Galarraga. It's a Galarraga. <laughs> and Steve Stone trying to play the straight man in R. Now it goes deep again. That's two, two at Homer games in the stream for Nolan. All right, not oh. Get the fuck out of my joint. I meant to do this one. Get up, baby. Get up. Get up. <laughs> get out and get up. I gotta. I should just put Shannon, but get up is fewer ones. <laughs> yeah. Some of these players, you know, veterans typically will always get their numbers. Sometimes they'll start fast and fade. Sometimes they'll go slow and go. Sometimes they're steady the whole year. You just got to trust that they're going to do their numbers. All right, Jordan. No. No, that wasn't that wasn't three home runs in a row last time. It was three out of four batters, so I misspoke. I didn't hit three in a row, but I did hit three in one inning, so... Wynn changed his hitting style and went back to what he was doing in the minors before he started to muscle up because he thought he was he was going to need that power to get to the majors and he'll be better just spraying the ball everywhere and using his speed. <clears throat> if I'm a Cardinal prospect, I'm not paying attention to what the Major League team is telling me to do hitting-wise. Just do what got you drafted and got you to the majors and... Tell those fuckers at the Major League to buzz off. There we go. Love a high fastball. Told you I needed to play a full game to get my hitting going. Oh, nice changeup. Way out in front. <clears throat> That's his number one pitch. Two, one. What a pitch. You like that blonde girl that we have on uh, Bally Sports Midwest? Her, uh, her Disney fake little nose drives me insane. Not a fan of blondes anyway. Yeah, I've only seen one game in this park. One ball, one strike. You want to see where I sat? Right up there, right in the middle. See that guy in the red shirt standing? We sat in that section right there by the foul pole. Or maybe it was the, it was the upper deck? Yeah, it was in that area of the ballpark. And after the second inning, because Milwaukee was up like 12 to 1, we just started walking. We parked over in Kentucky and walked across that footbridge. 
kids were doing Pokemon Go the entire time on their phones all the way across. And I call them kids, but they're both teenagers. God, throw me something hard. Not this soft bullshit. Oh, just missed it. Yeah, I'm going to a game um, in June against the Giants. One of my buddies on here, yeah. One of my buddies on here, 49er George, is coming in town. And we're going to go see, he's from uh, San Jose. So we're going to go see the Giants and Cardinals. I told him not to spend money on food and beer at the ballpark. And uh, we would go out to eat afterwards. So I'm waiting to see what kind of food he wants because we can go to Sugar Fire. We can go to some other places. <clears throat> ah. St. Louis pizza. Yeah, we, we are uh, very thin crust. It's like a cracker. I don't mind thin crust. I'd rather have a thin crust than a really deep dish pizza because I don't want to eat that much carbs. I'd rather have more of the toppings. But, yeah, I'd rather he uh, he had some of our barbecue and stuff. Try to get him to chase. Yeah, as long as you don't get mugged or run over. <laughs> I was refing down at the dome. I ref volleyball. And I was refing down at the dome when that girl got hit by that car and lost her legs. We didn't know about it. That was like Friday night. We didn't know about it until Sunday morning. They told us right before the national anthem was played on Sunday morning. <clears throat> but I've walked around that area. I used to work downtown. Yeah, East St. Louis is not fun, unless you're going to the strip clubs. Even that's a little iffy. Give me that call. Thank you. Oh, that was a hell of a change up. I was a day and a half ahead of that pitch. Yeah. Angel, CB, Buckner, all those pieces of shit. I follow a Twitter account called Umpire Scorecards that shows all of their every game that they may, they uh, ump behind home plate, and it shows the missed balls that were supposed to be strikes that they missed, and balls that were balls that they called strikes, and their consistency and accuracy. God, some of these guys should not be at the pro level at all. <clears throat> so if on Twitter, go to. Umpire scorecards, I believe it is. Oh, that might be his 100th career home run. It is 100 for Merrifield. Adios, 100th career home run. There it is. <clears throat> Not going to say anything? Recognize? It said last time up, you had... 99. That's five home runs in this game. <laughs> oh, 
reached. Arnado's three for three. Two home runs. Ooh. If he hits a third home run here, I'll do a double shot at Tequila. Even though I have to ref a pretty good match at 5 o'clock, I'll do one. Oh, you, you don't know. Dr. Taco, here you go. I meant to pause that. That's why we have these. <laughs> because we've got Terramana, Casamigos, and good old Hornitos. So, depending on the mood. <laughs> the funniest thing is I do I do I do more shots on camera than I do when we're not streaming. I rarely drink it when I'm not streaming. Yeah, I bought the uh, Hornitos at Sam's because I needed some for the stream. That's a rope. Four for four. The other two, um, one son gave me one bottle and the other son gave me the other bottle for my birthday. All right, Jordan. Yeah, for a while I was drinking a lot of silver tequila, mixing that. But... Now I'm back to the regular stuff. Tell you what is really good. I go to Schnooks and I buy this frozen limeade concentrate stuff. And I mix that up and I put it in a big stadium cup. Two double shots of uh, tequila. And it's like a poor man's margarita without having to buy all the, uh, the, the different ingredients. And... Uh, just sip on that all night long. <clears throat> my kids have learned to not just pick up my cup and drink out of it. I had I had pink lemonade with gin in it one time. My son took a big ass drink. <laughs> he about choked. Oh, he drills the pitcher and he's gonna beat it. Oh, he got him out. My God. How did he get that ball and get to the bag? That's how slow we were. All right, second and third, two out. And Martinez just shook it off. I mean, we rocked him with a shot up the middle. Base hit's going to score two more runs. Oh, I missed it. I missed it, and we still hit a three-run blast. <laughs> My God, I did not hit that well. This is one of those days. Look at this. I kind of jammed myself. It's like a little eight iron. Dipped. Yeah, quit dipping the PCI. Yeah, now we got to get through this, through this game without giving up a bunch of runs. This offense is good. We just we got to be more consistent. We got to get good pitching, which I'm I'm working on the good pitching. We signed Walker Bueller, traded for Bybee. I have Sonny Gray. I added Max Scherzer for one more year, hoping to win a World Series with him before he retires in the game. No, oh, I was way out in front of that pitch. It's all right. Why does it not show me the runs per inning? <clears throat> yeah, I traded. Uh, that's foul. I traded Gibson to Washington for Elijah Green, and then I let Lance Lynn go. Traded Michaelis. And an A potential outfielder we just drafted, and another minor league pitcher to the Phillies for Andrew Painter, but Painter's not 
he's not uh, performing well in the minors. Yeah, that's just Miles. Guys are always going to talk shit. Get foul. Get foul. Thank you. We got all these runs, and now the CPU is going to try and get some runs back here. Mind taker, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Oh. And if it wasn't for St. Louis fans, the uh, UFL would already be out of business because we're drawing thirty to 40,000 people for this basically minor league football. <clears throat> Kaka, the Battle Hawks. And the uh, NFL wants to give us a team or have a team move here. They can go fuck right off. We don't need the NFL. Yeah, we got screwed twice, especially hard by the Rams. But we took the Rams from L.A., so I'm not so upset about that. Just don't like Kroenke, you fucking ass. Coming in and drilling, guys. Yeah, the Cardinals, we shouldn't have lost. They wanted to build a dome stadium out in the county towards uh, St. Charles out in Maryland Heights. And uh, we couldn't get our shit together back in the 80s to do that. Now there's a bunch of casinos out there. Ah. Yeah. We don't have, we don't need the NBA. It's not going to draw as much. MLS, we sold out the MLS within a few hours. But even though I played soccer as a kid, played it in high school, coached it. I'm not interested in MLS. Don't care. It's a fucking boring sport. It's more boring than baseball. Yeah, I went to a I went to a, a Rams game against the Falcons that year, and that's when our that's when we became the greatest show on turf. That that particular game, we just went nuts. Ah. Live in Indy. I've been through Indy. I haven't stopped at Indy. I had to go to... I went to a couple of games up in Notre Dame. Oh. Yeah, we, we stole Marshall from you. But Edrin was good. Edrin helped me win a uh, fantasy football league one year. Him, him and Moss together. It was awesome. Going for five for five. No, that's out. Oh, <laughs> just missed that. My goodness. <sighs> that was a hanger. Yeah, the reason why we lost to the Patriots in the Super Bowl is because uh, Mike Martz refused to just run the ball with Marshall. They wanted us to run, and we could have beat them. Even if it was 13-10, we could have beat them by just running against those eight DBs. No, that's down. Ball. It was an ego thing, besides the fact that they wouldn't call interference against New England. All I had to do was just pound it with Marshall. We would win the game. That's going to drop. <clears throat> yeah, they should have lost three Super Bowl titles from all the cheating they did. They cheated the Rams, the Eagles, and the and the uh, Panthers. <laughs> the Cheatriots. 
Right now, there's Tom Brady lovers everywhere, but I'd say, fuck Tom Brady. Come on. Got him. Paint the corner. There we go. Sonny's going to be done after this inning because I don't want to screw up his good start by trying to push a complete game when he's tired. Come on. Now I'm missing my spots. He hated his guts for 20 years. Yeah, I can't stand him either. There would have been no Tom Brady if they didn't have that stupid... Uh, tuck rule because the Raiders were beating the Patriots. So it would have been the Rams and the Raiders in the Super Bowl that year. Sonny is done. We're done. Get him out of the game. I don't mind these little flares, man. They help the batting average. Yeah, originally I, I, I thought I was off today all day and refing yesterday, but it was the opposite. I was off yesterday and refing later today. But I'd already said that I was going to uh, stream today. <clears throat> I will not be streaming tomorrow. I will be streaming Saturday late morning. We'll get through the month of June um, Saturday. Wife will be gone from like 10 a.m. on. She'll be gone. So I'm going to stream Saturday day. And then that leaves us with probably... Monday to play uh, the month of July and get the draft and the uh, all-star break and the trade deadline done on Monday. I only ref Tuesday, Thursday next week, so uh, reach it. That was a nasty pitch. I'm thinking fastball, and he drops that on me. Man, eyes light up. It's right down the middle, and I'm very early. Splitter for the win. All right, Kiermaier. This was a close game. I'd bring in Gorman and hit for him instead. Walker, play the plate. No, it's not Walker. It's Duvall. Got the run anyway. There you go. Good old Mike Shannon. Had the Cardinals on the 13 run pool. Who's on first? It's Contreras. We're going to have the middle of the order come up one more time in the ninth. We're going to have one more shot at Arenado to hit three home runs. Man. 
Then he sneaks at 95 by me. Let's go. Come on. Two runners gonna go. Even with his slow speed, we get one in the gap. We might be able to score him. And we walk. All right, that was a close one. New pitcher Jabot comes in for Whit Merrifield. Guess what we're doing. <laughs> I'm a greedy bastard. <laughs> Let's go. See if they walk him now. Nope. All right, base it'll be two more runs. Terrible swing. That was so late. One one. Come on, swinging strikes. Nope. We would have scored, but that's all right. Not a chance, Nick. Come on. I want him to bat. Ooh, that was a filthy pitch. All right. Bottom of eight. And he's in. New pitcher. Here comes Aroldis. Back to Cincinnati as a Cardinal. Three straight 100 mile an hour pitches. <laughs> That's four straight. Five straight. Anybody want six? Hard one on that one. Oh. He's losing his mark now. Get there, Kiermaier. That's why we got you. There we go. All right. We'll bring in a new pitcher for the other. Arnado's up second this inning. Let's go. Let's go. Scooped it. All right, here we go. For a double shot. It's four for five with two singles and two homers. That's a ball. Ooh. Way early. Early on a four, 94 mile an hour fastball. Sawed me off. That was a good pitch. All right, off to the ninth. Let's go.
And this guy's got a wicked slider. Wow, he swung at that pitch. All right. How about one more of those? Oh, better throw would have got him. doing that that great um, streams lagging out a little bit I would refresh guys I would refresh again oh come on where was that pitch? <sighs> Why did he stop? I'm pushing down, and he wouldn't run in to get the ball. He should have caught that ball on the fly. Thirteen to three. Yep, that's why we have this. And that's a winner. That's a winner. Arnado, four for six. Two home runs by Arnado. Two home runs by Contreras. One by Whitfield. One by Duvall. Sonny Gray with two wild pitches. Sonny's eight and two now. <clears throat> hey, thanks for stopping by and uh, following. Appreciate it. Always good to talk Cardinal baseball. We are 35 and 21. Pushes us back to a two and a half game lead over the Reds. Three and a half over the Brewers. Dodgers have 38 wins. Astros have 39 wins. Rangers have 34. Orioles have 34. Yeah, normally I'm wearing a Cardinals hat, not a uh, Oregon Ducks hat, but it's what I grabbed this morning when I got up. All right, so where are we at time wise? 315. Um, let's just sim this game against Hunter Green. Somebody in their minors got hurt. We win 12-5. to five. Gorman and Duvall with home runs. 
Bybee got lit up but got the win. Andrew Abbott is a lefty, Walker Bueller. So let's player lock on one of our hitters. Mason win. Let's do Mason win. He's the only one we haven't player locked on today, right? <clears throat> so. And we'll do two more player locks um, against the Cubs, and we'll call it a day. And that'll give me time to... Uh, Grab a quick snack before I have to eat dinner. I have to leave here at 4 o'clock, a little before 4 o'clock to go ref today. All right, Mason. Base is loaded and one out. Ooh. New bar walked with the bases loaded to score the run. Let's just stay down here. Oh, he hit a grand slam! Mason win! <laughs> oh, yes! Adios, Get up, baby! Get up! Get up! There we go. It's been one of those days, boys. <laughs> It's been one of those days. Bam. A granny. Wow. And the strong arm in the hole gets it and throws him out. Grand slam for Mason Win. <clears throat> and this guy's injured right now, TJ Anton. De La Cruz with a solo homer in the bottom of the third. Gets the Reds on the board. Ooh, that was a nasty pitch. All right, let's change controllers. Hit him. It's a grand slam, and then they drill him next time up. All right, Tommy Two Bags, let's go. Find a gap. Nope. All right, Nolan. Park one, baby. Park one. Hit it far. Nope. How about the other Nolan? It's two for three. That was me using the wrong control with a man on base. <laughs> I was hitting R2 to look at stats, and I uh, took off. All right, he walks him. And they're loaded for Josh. He's got 97 or 99 clutch. And it's not going to fall in. All right, 5 to 2. Man at the corners, two down. Let's see if we can get another base hit here. Nope. Nope. Not a good swing. One on, one out. It's going to be a double play. There we go. Kill that rally. Making a comeback, five to four, ninth inning. Oh. <clears throat> Come on.
He did it again. <laughs> ah. Get up, baby. Get up. Get up. <laughs> oh. All right. Because it was Mason Wynn, that deserves one. That's two two-run homer games with six RBIs in the stream. Arenado starts it. Wynn's going to end it. There we go, boys. Damn right. <clears throat> Arnado with three hits. Duvall with two. And Mason win. A grand slam and a two-run homer. Bueller's 4-0. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. Yeah, we, we kind of destroyed them in Cincinnati. Sorry, Cincy. Sorry, Natty. We swept the Reds on the road. <clears throat> we have a four-game lead over the Brewers now. Look at the Cubs. <clears throat> All right. Player lock, player lock, done. And I'll be able to look at my scouting here. Um, I will not advance past that day. Well, I'll advance it to the 1st of June right here. Um, but I'll, I'll not set my scouting and stuff yet so I can go in and look. <clears throat> Next stream, we got the Cubs for four. The Reds for three. Pirates for three. Padres for seven. Yankees for three. Marlins three. So, as far as full games go, I'm kind of leaning towards, and we got the Twins too. We won't, I'm leaning towards either at the Yankees or at the Padres for a full game next time. <clears throat> All right, Assad and Mats. Who are we going to play a lock here? I'm going to make sure it didn't change my lineups on the Major League side. <clears throat> nope. All right. Hmm. Who should we do? Let's do Gorman. And <clears throat> they got Pete Crow Armstrong DHing. All right, one nothing. Bottom of first with two outs. Yeah, swinging early, way early. See the pitch, man. See the pitch. Wind is blowing in from left field. <clears throat> His OPS is 955. Gotta like that. Means he's slugging over 600. Oh. Today I'm crushing with righties. Usually I crush with lefties. Nose won't stop itching. Get through. There we go. Take that base hit. Up that average. Come on, Jordan. Do some damage, man. Well, walk. Lars. Must be the shoes. Let's go, Lars. Nope. Didn't feel fly.
All right. Come on, Tommy Two Bags. Two outs. Going on contact. <clears throat> Nobody on. Two out. Good. Just throw this to first. Be nice if they gave you a pop up once in a while <clears throat> instead of everything's a ground ball. Still one nothing, one on, nobody out in the sixth. Get that pitch over the middle of the plate. Oh, don't think he got enough. I think that's going to be caught on the track. Yep, right up against the wall. <clears throat> All right, now we're up three to one. So we put up three in the inning already. Can we do more damage? Caleb Killian. Sinker, cutter, fastball, curveball. Drop the bat head on that one. Ooh, that one ran away from me. <laughs> Let's go. On a rope to left field. All right. And that's a winner. Held him to five hits. Two hits for Donovan, two for Walker. Home run by Brendan Donovan. Mats pitched well. Bullpen did their job. <clears throat> All right, last player lock of the day, and then we'll be out of here. Mad Max against Jameson Tyon. Tyon's right-handed, right? So... Hey, we're hot. Let's just go back to Arenado, who we started the day with. <clears throat> Bet you guys didn't know we had a team back in the 1800s. Maybe even early 1900s in St. Louis called the St. Louis Perfectos. Ooh, got all of it, but hooked it. Slightly blowing out the left. Oh! Get out of here! Get the fuck out of here! Go! Yes! Yes! That's five home runs for Arnado on stream today. Get up, baby! Get up! Get up! That was mashed. Absolutely fucking murdered. Look at this. Bam! That was a rope and a half. Look at this. That barely got over the front facing the upper deck. <laughs> wow. Give Max a good lead to start with. Hope we get some good luck in the sim here. God, I want to win a World Series for Max on the Cardinals so bad this year. Here we go. I'm going to tell you right now, I am not doing another franchise for MLB The Show. We're going to play the Cardinals all fucking summer, okay? This is the only team you're going to see from me this year. We're not going to switch to another team. We're going to deal with what happens with this team when we get rid of Arenado and get rid of all of our older players and all of our good players get to be close to 30. 
So we're going to play the Cardinals all summer, guys. <clears throat> this is my only franchise team this year on stream. Because when the NCAA game comes out, I'm sure we'll be checking that out to see if uh, that gameplay is worth playing. Because if the gameplay for NCAA is worth playing, then we will do dynasties for NCAA. If it's not, then I'll do some sim dynasties. We'll still do that so we can figure out the scouting, the recruiting, and the NIL and all that good stuff. We'll, we'll figure that out. But I'm going to continue to play Cardinals especially if NCAA game has suck-ass gameplay. Oh, jammed myself. Still 2 nothing in the 7th. Penn Murphy's in. Mad Max, no runs allowed in 6 innings. Yeah, I like that. He didn't he didn't react very quick on that, did he? His reaction time is like in the 80s in this game. It's fucking terrible. All right, well, it's 4 to nothing. We got just got two runs last inning. Oh. I can tell my timing's off after that tequila shot. You obviously can imagine that uh, it's going to affect my uh reaction time, but That's going to be down for a double. Go, 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 go. Come on, go, Gadget, go. Yeah, FG, we're going to we're gonna put this stream, this this Dynasty, straight up head-to-head -head against Mr. Hurricane, man. He gets all the views, and he has great storytelling. Uh-oh, Nolan Gorman just went deep, folks. It's six to nothing, Cardinals. That's a winner. Six to two. Three hits for Gorman. I'm sorry, three hits for Arnado. Two hits for Walker. Home runs by Walker, Arnado, and Gorman. Mad Max. Six shutout innings, three hits, three walks. He's six and two as a Cardinal. Sandling gets the save. And that concludes the month of April, uh, May. Sorry, month of May. Well, <clears throat> our fifth round pick had a rough month of May. McGreevy had a mo hard month of May. Chase Davis hit 451 down in double A. Buckberger hit 485 in the month of May. Campos, no earned runs in six innings. Jimmy Ray is our closer down in the minors. He'll be ready to come up and pitch as a setup guy next year. 10 Ks and nine innings with a one year A. Let's let's save and then we'll go look at our scouting. We'll go look at our stats. We'll go look at the standings. All right. We have a five game lead. Five. We are twenty two and ten away from home. And twenty five and ten at night. We're a half game behind the Dodgers for the best record in the National League. The Astros are 42 and 16. Oh my God. My gosh. Let's look at them. <laughs> 42 and 16. Did they have the uh, trash can out again this year? Bregman. Jordan Alvarez with 24 home runs through May. <clears throat> Framber Valdez, six and two. Christian Javier, five and one. <clears throat> JP France, seven and zero oh in relief. Twenty-two saves for Abreu, although his ERA is five. Why is Josh Hader not closing? Well, he's got a seven point eight ERA. I guess that would be why. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. Wow. All right, Cardinal stats. Nolan Arenado is hitting 324 with 15 home runs and 40 RBIs through the first two months of the season. That's 45 home run pace and 120 RBI. Jordan Walker, 280. Nolan Gorman, 308. Tommy Edmond. Josh Naylor. Contreras hitting 324. I'll take that out of a catcher. Mason wins up to 246. Lars is struggling. He hit 300 last year, but Duvall is doing exactly what we needed him to do off the bench. Kiermaier. If we had to cut somebody, I'd probably cut Kiermaier at this point. Not sure why Alec Burleson's up. Pitching staff. All of them in the threes, which isn't as good as what we had coming into the month, but I'll take it. Bueller's 4-0, 6-2, 8-2, 5-2, 5-2. Gallegos is 5-5 five and five in relief. Sandlin struggling. I've seen this before with him, though. Arenado jumps to the front on the MVP in the National League. Jordan's in the American League. Burns is at the top for Cy Young. Gossman in the American League. Marte, batting average. Rocchio. Duran is reliever. Phillips, reliever. Rookie of the Year, Zach Deloche. David Ariano. <clears throat> Adrian Del Castillo. Catcher. Third base. He's already regressing. 18 years old. See potential. He's already regressing. One hit wonder. All right. Let's go to scouting. So this guy dropped. So he's going to be in the 50s, and he's probably going to be in the high 70s. Guy sucks. Left field. Let's look at Stephen Walker. All right, so we're going to change this and we're going to go start looking at Infield International. <clears throat> Ooh, not rated. Remember, we had we were looking at this guy earlier. So not rated. His per nine suck. <clears throat> this guy could be in the high fifties or low sixties. He could be a B potential, maybe an A. There's another guy, Horman. Terrible per nines. God, his pitching is garbage. All right, we got our work cut out for us on the pitching side. <clears throat> <clears throat> this is going to be a rough draft. I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to be a really rough draft. <laughs> if we don't find some position players, we're going to be we're going to have a terrible draft. It's just the way it's going to be. I'm going to go back in after we get off stream and look at the position players, especially maybe some of the pitchers, and try and figure out what we need to do. Um, but yeah, so next time we'll either play a full game with the Yankees or the Padres. Both of them kind of suck this year. Marlins suck. Pirates, uh, barely over 500. Cubs are below. Twins are playing well, but I hate playing. Well, that'd be home game. So that could be a possibility. We're back to Cincinnati where we just swept these guys. So. <clears throat> and we have the Reds and the Cubs again in July. We only have six games in the month of August in the division. And we only have six games in the month of September in the division. All right, so we're going to highlight some division games the next two months. 
and then it's going to be out of division going forward. So, Ooh. all right. Well, that's it. We're done for the day. I need to go eat something, fight off this uh, tequila that hit me hard, pretty hard. Thank you, guys. Dr. Taco MD, thanks for the follow. Thanks for the great Cardinals chat. I appreciate you guys. Everybody else that followed today, thank you very much. Um, as I've said, we, we changed our format from playing three full games and simming the rest to playing one full game, player locking in at least one pitcher, and then player locking a lot of players. So let me know, especially you guys on YouTube, let me know if you like this format. Um, if you want me to do something different, if I'm not doing something you want to see, if you want to see more minor leaguers, uh, appreciate you guys very much. Who is out there streaming that we can go raid? Tight spots, MLB, flick of the wrist, MLB. Katie smokes top spin. He's playing tennis. Man Cave is playing football. Um, let me know who you want. I'm going to go hit up Man Cave if you guys don't want somebody else different. But uh, thank you guys again. And uh, I will be back Saturday, 10, 1030 Central Time in the morning, roughly. We'll play the entire month of June, and that'll get us to draft day on Monday. So come back, watch us play these next two months, and uh, I will uh, see you guys in a couple of days. You guys take care. Let's get this raid going. My, my dog needs to go outside. So uh, when you guys are ready, we'll head over to Man Cave, and uh, thank you very much. I will talk to you guys later on, man. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.